Welcome to another video from rcdiy.ca. This video is part of a series of videos and a playlist related to sounds and announcements in OpenTX 2.2. This video is also accompanied by separate detailed documentation. Please read the documentation for details on what I will be showing you in this video. There are two locations for the documentation. One copy is on the rcdiy.ca website and another has been contributed to the official OpenTX manual on Gitbooks. Links to the documentation will be placed in the description below this video on YouTube. In this video, we will look at the microSD card and sound packs. OpenTX does not require a micro SD card to be installed in your transmitter. However, installing one opens up a bunch of features, one of which is the ability to have more informative, interesting, and fun sounds and announcements. Check the documentation from the transmitter's manufacturer to determine which type of SD or micro SD card to use. To use the micro SD card, First format it using the FAT32 file format option. Usually new micro SD cards come pre-formatted in this way. If you insert a new micro SD card into the transmitter's card slot and turn on the transmitter, an SD card version warning message is displayed. This is because on turning on the transmitter with the card present, OpenTX checks for a version file in the root folder of the card. If the file is missing, or if the file contains version information that does not match what OpenTX is expecting, the warning is displayed. In the context of sounds and announcements, this check helps ensure that audio files based on sounds and announcements are made when expected and that the announcements being made are the correct ones. OpenTX uses collections of audio files to make sounds and announcements. These files have specific names and are placed in particular folders collectively called a sound pack. For example, in OpenTX version 2.1, the audio file named 0116.wave is the electrical unit volts. Volts. Whereas in OpenTX version 2.2, the audio file named volt1.wave is the electrical unit for volts. Volts. When the version of OpenTX running on the transmitter changes, but the sound packs is not changed to match, sounds and announcements could either not be made or could be incorrect. This is because either a file is not found or the file with the wrong sounds and announcements is played. The sound packs are downloaded as zip files. To ensure that the correct sound pack is being used, download the sound pack using Companion. Click on File in the menu bar, then click on Download. A window opens up with the Download SD Contents button. Click on it. A web browser window opens with a link to a zipped file. Download the zip file. Unzip the file and place the files and folders in the micro SD card. Ensure that the file opentx.sdcard.version and the sounds folder is present in the top level directory. Eject the mounted drives and then switch the transmitter off and then back on again. Welcome to OpenTX. Bienvenue sur OpenTX. This brings us to the end of this video, which is meant to be a brief overview. Please follow the links below to the blog post for details and watch the other videos in this playlist. To support this channel, please like, subscribe and follow the links below.